what I'm doing. Let's take all that corner out there. Hold it in the brace. There. This is loosened. Don't worry, I know where it is and what the measurements are. I'll do that back bit now. And I'm going to test it myself. Back shorter. That's it with the still test fitted. Fits perfect there. Just got to cut it and lining it up. This is only a test fit, mind. Yeah, looks pretty good. All lines up the bottom. fresh holes ready to be bolted through when it comes to it. Perfect. Back shortly. That's what was in here before. Everything lines up nicely. I'll just now go give this carpet a jet wash. See if I can save it. If not, I'm going to get a black carpet. There you go. That's it so far. And I'll be back with you shortly. See belt mounts I've made. Probably stronger than the original. That was a thick piece of metal off an old motorbike bracket. Thicker than the original seatbelt mount. And that bolt fits over the existing seatbelt bolt. So that's done. Just got to do a few more welds across the bottom of it. And I'm back with you shortly. Just painting the outer seal. This outer seal has been etched primed, stone chipped, and now I'm putting some red oxide in there. Double the protection. Make sure all this is protected. Oh, back for short run. All that there's done. I've just got to. I put some brush treatment around this the seat belt thing I've drilled all the holes for the for when I wax oil it all them are back in just waiting for that brush treatment to dry and then I'm going to put some paint on it and then test fit the sill again this would be technically like fitting the sill temporarily to test the doors and if the doors are perfect start welding it in, if not I'll have to take it back off and do some alterations but everything will be test fitted before it's permanently fitted up there, fixed I have got the the ski slope that I took off I'm going to try and save that yeah, that will be a shot though just wanted to show you what I've done All rust treated. All the holes are there. That piece I made is in. So it's a bit solid now. Back soon. It all now stone chipped as well and those holes there when I've got the seal on I could put a nozzle of a spray can in there and spray it so it all runs into the bottom of the seam as well <laughs> so. that's that area repaired If you went off on some that's it so far. Looking good. That turned out nice. That seat belt bracket that I made. Some nice, really thick welds around the edges. 
<laughs> extra support. So yeah, that was a short one. Oh, that's welded in. I put spot welds and big thick seam mold straight across them. And I've welded this in to the bottom of here where it's meant to be. Just cleaning it up again. All this is done. I'm just cleaning up the post now. This door here opens and shuts. All the sills in, welded in, even along the bottom. So that's done. I've just got to clean up the welds now and get that in some sort of protection. So that's how far I've got. Now I'm just cleaning up that post all back there. And then I've got to do some work to that and get that welded back on. So that will be short though. I've now just got to fix this hole in the, the window frame. I've got to bring a piece of metal down and connect it to this bracket that's flush up there. I've cleaned up in there as best I can. I'm going to put some brush treatment in. I've just got to make a plate in there that comes down here, down there, and connects to this. That will be shortly once I've done that. Getting it ready to have the post put on. So yeah, sure. that's it so far. I'm just sprayed all in there, ready to put the plate on that I'm going to put on. That's the plate there, ready to be welded in. All that's in. I've painted all in there, ready for the outer piece to go back on. I've rust treated that little bit because obviously it got a little bit rusty because it weren't protected. So that'll be painted afterwards. This corner's nearly done. All the brackets made, all that's in. That's going to be welded up there shortly. This end is done. Once I put the outer piece on, I've got to repair the ski slope. I've got to make ski slopes for here. It comes up to about there. It's going to come up across same on the other side here i've got the back one i just gotta repair it and put it back on but it's all done that is one big massive job done now i've just got to repeat it on the other side so back when i've done some more all right it's getting dark now but i have started repairing that there i'm calling it a day and i'll see you in the next one please like and subscribe bye bye Sorry, I forgot to, I've just finished this. See you in the next one.